Hey there Libra, welcome to Young Dice Tarot. This is your July 2021 bonus love reading. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What do we have going on for Libra? Starting out with Judgment, Karma, Review. Ooh. So someone is getting judged here. It could also be with Judgment card, it could be something coming back around something or someone. We'll see what comes out here. And we have Page of Wands, excitement and curiosity. Okay, so you're starting something new. This is also pages are always um, communication, information, new, something new here. So someone might be contacting you. And it might get you really excited here. And you might be curious about what they want to say. It could be in the form of a phone call, a text, an email, a letter. They could even um, contact someone that you know, you both mutually know to try to get a hold of you. Let's see here now. We have the Empress, Divine Feminine, whether it's you or your person. Well, Libra is also um, is represented by the Empress too. So this is, you're coming up in your reading anyway. So this is... um. At this time, you can create anything, everything. Um, you're just very fertile. And if you want to be having a baby at this time, it's a very good time. It will um, it'll be very fertile to do that. If you want to start a new business, a new job, a, something new, it's a very good time for that. And that's the general energy around you. Right now, you're very creative and very fertile and anything can go. So keep all your thoughts very positive because you're going to create whatever you think about. Now, in the recent past, we have the Knight of Wands. Now here's Wands here and Wands here. This is communication. It could be communication that you've received from this person in the recent past, or they can even be a person from your past. Passionate adventure. Now, in the Knight of Wands, they come in quick. And they're the Playboy Playgirl. So that doesn't mean that they, they might be in and out. So be very cautious with this one. But there's a lot of passion. I mean, here you have a fire sign. Now this could be a Sagittarius, a Leo, or Aries. It doesn't have to be. It could just be the energy of that suit. Let's see. We have the Two of Swords. Stalemate. Indecision. Okay, there's time to make a decision. But I think at this time, you have to make a decision, but you don't have all the facts. So you're waiting until you know more. But that is something that is weighing on you. You have to make a decision about something. You have the High Priestess coming in. Wow. Now this is hidden knowledge. This is one that's very intuitive. So you're able to tap into knowing things and finding out things. And hmm, you're, you're probably even during your dreams, you might be getting downloads, might be getting information. Um, so if you can keep a notebook or a pad next to the bed with a pen and write down if you wake up and remember something because you probably forget if you don't. Okay, Five of Pentacles, isolated and alone. Now, this could represent your energy. It could also represent a person that maybe feels isolated from you, maybe left out in the cold. Maybe you um, you walked away. Or maybe they walked away. But someone feels the hurt of this. Magician. Okay, you are able to manifest. I'm telling you, with this, this Empress here and now the mag Magician, keep your thoughts so positive because whatever you want now, you can create. You just got to stay on that. Po whenever you think something negative or you doubt yourself, just say cancel, cancel, cancel. And replace it with something positive because you do not want to block yourself from, from achieving everything that you can have. And we have the King of Wands. Now, isn't that interesting? We have the Page, the Knight, and the King. Hmm. Now, this could, this is visionary leader. This could be that you're getting a, a promotion. You're gonna um be in charge of people, or maybe um get you know just get a better position. Maybe you start your own business being very creative but it also could be again someone 
a fire sign coming towards you. It doesn't have to be, but someone with that passion, that drive, that creativity could be coming towards you. Or it just could be your energy that you're really on fire right now. You're able to create whatever you want and you're just um doing really well. Okay, let's see. We have the strength card, Leo. Okay, that goes along with these because this is a fire sign. Um, someone might be holding themselves back from you or this also could be you holding yourself back from something but you do have the strength to accomplish whatever you want so if you're doubting yourself don't because you are you're very strong at this time three of swords oh heartache well someone was hurt or someone's feeling the pain of loss okay we'll clarify and then we have eight of cups so yes yeah, someone's feeling the pain of something they might be walking away they might not want to stay in the situation they're in anymore it could be a job it could be you know a partnership it could be a relationship it could be walking away from a karmic you could be walking away from someone to go towards someone or they could be walking away from someone to come, come towards you and we have oh wounds on here five of cups yes someone's hurting i mean we have the five of pentacles the three of swords and the five of cups someone's really hurting from a loss here a relationship uh, i don't know it feels more like your person but i'm not sure let's get some more cards on this could be some of it could be for some people could be that or it could be vice versa okay now we do have karma review here so some might be going through a lot now because maybe they're getting the karma maybe karma's hitting them okay could be you could be your person okay let's get some clarifying why we got this judgment card here unseen factor there's more to this love story through though you cannot see it now there still is much more to unfold well, that goes right along with this one. Not knowing what to do because you're not seeing everything. And there could be something happening now that is someone's getting judged. Someone could be going through a real rough time because of whatever they did in the past. And they might be getting pain for it now. Whether it's you or someone you know. Okay. Page of Wands. We have the Page of Wands. Oops. Okay, let's pop that, that one's popping up. So, Breakthrough. They are planning right now to come towards you to ask for a second chance. Expect communication real soon. That goes with the page of wands. Yes. Someone is definitely coming towards you. They want to talk to you. And you're not seeing the whole picture right now, so you don't know what they're going to say. And this might be shocking, being with this um, karma card here, because it seems like that's almost like a lightning strike. So it might be like the tower of almost shocking whatever they're going to say to you. Okay, the Empress, we have Leap of Faith. They did not expect this love to run this deep. They're putting their pride in, aside and taking the leap of faith. Wow, they see you as the empress. So they're coming. They're coming. They don't know what the, what's going to happen, but they're going to take a leap of faith. They're going to step right off that cliff and to hope to God they get caught. Or they, they get You catch them. You might just let them fall. Depends on what happened in the past. Okay, now... Knight of Wands. Why do we have the Knight of Wands here? Why is the Knight of Wands here? Uprooting. They are leaving all that is familiar to them or a long-term relationship to start a brand new life with you. Wow. That's why they're coming in passionately. They might, they might be leaving in a hurry. And this is going to be shocking. Yeah, they might just all of a sudden show up at your, your doorstep. So be ready, you know? <laughs> they might just appear. That's the karma, maybe they're that they they were stuck with a karma and they couldn't handle that that anymore and they miss you, and so they're coming. Okay, now the two of swords here. Let's see the two of swords. We have in Sage Bowl, they have an insatiable thirst, a thirst that no one else but you can satisfy, craving for you more and more. <laughs> all righty then they're coming and <laughs> and they're gonna be coming all crazy so be ready <laughs> okay. okay now we got the high priestess why is the high priestess here divine intervention they are experiencing many tower moments in their life where it is helped 
them gain clarity on this connection. Wow. Yeah, this karmic thing that they're going through is really opening their eyes to how great you are. I think they knew how great you were, but they really didn't know until they experienced how bad other people are. You know, like when you go through, sometimes you don't know how good you have it until you go through something else. They say, oh, wow, what a fool, you know? Okay, now five of pentacles. Why is the five of pentacles here for Libra? Why do we have the five of pentacles? Plotting. Ooh. They're stepping up their game to get your attention because they know you have plenty of other options. Yeah, so right now they're isolated and alone because they're thinking of how they're, what's their next move going to be? How can they get their Libra back? But they know that you are desirable and you are manifesting like crazy. You are the empress. You can get whoever you want. They know it. They're aware of it. They messed up. They know it. <laughs> okay, how about the magician now? Give us more on the magician, please. Choices. There is a choice they have to make. They know time is not on their side and risk losing you forever if they don't. Wow. Man, that's why they can't. It might be them trying to decide here uh, how to do something. Time is running out. Yeah. They have to make a choice, but they know you have choices. That's the whole thing, too. So they know they can't wait. Okay, now, this King of Wands. Get us more on this King of Wands, please. Why is the King of Wands here? Resistance. They need time to answer the call of their soul and step into higher levels of consciousness. Well, they need time, <laughs> you know, but they don't have it. They know it. Oof. Okay, they want to come to you right. That's what this is all about. They know they want to come and they want to raise their vibration because they, they want to match yours. Because right now, they're not on the same level as you. And they know if they don't come correctly and with the higher vibration, this won't work. So they're really stressing this because they, they don't know what to do. They have to, you know, they have to move quickly, but they can't move too quickly because they can blow it. So this is like they're they're walk, walking a tightrope here, you know, a very fine line here. Okay, how about this strength card? Give us more on the strength card, please. Anxiously waiting. They search for you in everything, feel you everywhere, always in the back of their mind, hoping they run into you. Okay. So they want to just run into you. It feels like that's the energy. They're hoping, like even with, you got this knight of wands here, like fast movement all of a sudden. All of a sudden they see you at their store or see you walking or something. They might just all of a sudden pull over or, or something. But they're trying to um, run into you. But I don't know. It's not, I guess it's not working though. Okay, now the three of swords. The three of swords. I hope this is a nice person because I'm feeling very <laughs> sorry for them. <laughs> Okay, game over. They fear you, your wrath. They know you no longer entertaining their half-hearted effort. That was this. This is the, the sorrow that they, that, okay. Now that's when they're starting to think negative. They start thinking they have a chance and then they start going negative. That's game over. They're not sure that this is going to work. They're not sure they have, you know, they don't, they're not sure they have, they're enough for you. That they have what it takes to make you happy. And that you can get a lot of other people. So it's like, they know that. Okay, why is the Eight of Cups here? Beauty and Grace. They find you extremely beautiful, but your beauty intimidates them. They think someone else is more deserving. See, I was just saying that. They don't think they're enough. Now, that could also be handsome, too. I mean, the card just says beauty, but it also could refer to the masculine. It could be handsome. Okay, now, the Journey. This love journey may be long and challenging, but so long as you are with them, you'll never walk alone. Hmm. It almost feels like that's more like the way they feel about you, that if you're with them, they don't feel like they're alone, but otherwise they feel isolated and alone. And that's why this lone wolf is here, because they do feel left out. 
this I feels just such a heaviness on my heart right now it feels so sad um, you know, and of course, if this person is a nasty, nasty person, a rotten person, this is not for you. I'm feeling the energy of someone that is really sincere and really wanting to come in and really feeling like you deserve more. So they really, they're, they're really hesitant about what to do because they really don't want to, um, they want you to have the best. They really, truly love you and they want you to have the best. Okay, let's see what else we get for you guys. Cracking, crack cup dissatisfaction with life okay this is this person feeling that way that's not your energy and then we have lion time to act they know it's time to act they're trying to build up to strength leo energy and then we have base secret admirer okay this could be a secret admirer someone you don't know or it could be another person too you could have another person around that also because i see you have many choices and then we have torch spiritual development enlightenment awareness and understanding that's your energy you are um, really on fire here and then we have wreath sorrow over a loss someone might have lost something or someone and it's very sad it's also I really feel like a lot of this is this person's energy feeling the loss of you the loss of your love and then we have apple temptation will test you well this person is really going to come on really strong there you have a lot of passion from this person so it is going to is this going to tempt you let's see one more weeping willow family sorrow unless well, someone could have a loss in the family if that's so i'm so sorry for your loss could be also um loss of a situation bottom of this deck we have bow bow sorry you are highly thought of yes because there's more cards than this what else do we get for libra here what else do we have going on for libra strength yeah you, you know this person needs a lot of strength. I feel like you are very strong. And I feel like this person's trying to get the courage to come to you. And they see you as being very strong. You're more confident and, and stronger than them. And, and, you know, that's another thing they have to um, try to overcome. Ace of Wands. Look at this. Something really, like, here's a King of Wands here. I think, I feel like it could be your person, but it's also your energy. Like, really manifesting something great here. Um, a new job, a new company, um, new business, and something, a real creative idea that you're doing really well. A lot of passion and whatever this is that you're doing. Okay, a few came out here. So we have the Knight of Swords. Someone's going to rush in. Yeah, when they do make up their mind to come, they're coming quickly. Because you have the uh, Knight of Wands. It could be two different people. And you have the Knight of Swords. This is for Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. It could be another Libra. And then we have Temperance here. Balancing things out. Sagittarius energy. Divinely guided here. Helped. Okay, what else do we have here for Libra? Wow, Ace of Cups. Yeah, someone has a lot of love for you. You're going to be feeling the emotion of a lot of love and passion. And um, it could be going for, from this person. It could be coming from other people. I think overall the energy that you are loved by many people, family, friends. I think you have a lot of love around you. And, uh, um, and you feel it. It's very warm. Two of Swords. Yeah, trying to make a decision. We have it here and we have it here. And, you know, the Two of Swords, especially in this card, there's people trying to butt in. They want what's right for them, not for whatever. They want you to do what's right for them, not what's right for you. So do what's right for you. Don't listen to others. The Hermit, Virgo. Someone going deep within and learning something. Something something you have to learn in order to grow 
within yourself, not from outside of yourself. This is something that has to be learned in, within yourself. Now that could also be why this person's coming up here with this resistance, you know, the need to um, take the time to find answers to be a higher level consciousness. But this is also you. I think you are going within. You are finding things that you need to find out. You could be a teacher, a healer. You could be also a student. But you're getting divinely helped here. <clears throat> Three of Pentacles working together. Yeah, whatever this is, this person, this person wants to come back and they want to work with you. They just don't know if they have it. They don't think they're worthy of you, of your love. Eight of Swords, they can't sleep at night. They're all they thought. They're meant so, mentally trapped in their thoughts. And that for some of you, that could be you too. You could be stuck in your thoughts about something, something that's weighing on you. Could be also this person, you know, thinking about this person, wondering what to do. You still have love for them. Seven of Cups. Choices. Yes, you have a lot of choices. Decisions, choices. That's coming up too. You know, like I said you have a lot of choices and they know it. You know, you're going to have to make up your mind on who you want. Make just two, two more and then we'll close this off for you guys. Four cups. Yeah, they're thinking about you night and day. You're constantly on this person's mind. And two of pentacles. Trying to balance things out. Trying to make a decision. This is want balance in your life. I think you want balance in your life. And this person's trying to balance themselves out in order to come to you. And here we have the five of swords. Constantly getting bothered by other people interfering. That's why I feel like this is the five of swords. People butting in. And that person has to cut these people out in order to come towards you. They have to change things in life in order to be able to come to you. To be with you. Otherwise it's not going to work. Well Libra I hope you like this reading. Please leave comments and like, share, and subscribe, and I hope to see you again real soon. Thank you.